In this video, I'm going to show you guys the top 5 secret areas in Prodigy. Now, for you experienced Prodigy players, you probably already know all of these areas, but for the newer players, I bet you didn't know about some of these, and you might learn something new. Let's get into it. So, as you can see here, I'm in Skywatch, in the area where you fight the final boss. First off, if you don't know how to get here, it's in the factory. Okay, well, you see that door over there? Have you ever tried going through it? If you haven't, well, basically, you exit the factory and you end up in an open space. Back then, like three years ago, you were actually able to walk from one zone to the next, and if you got here, you would be able to walk to Bonfire Spire. Now you can't do that anymore. So yeah, this takes the number 5 spot. For number 4, a lot of you guys might already know this, but it's still pretty secret. This one is in Shipwreck Shore all the way at the end, so let's get there first. Okay, so here we are. I don't even know if we have to go to this area for a quest, but anyway, you see that open path in the bottom right? We can actually walk through there. And that leads us to a new area. This is the secret area for number four. And there's also a chest there, and it contains a pretty cool weapon. The number three secret area is in Crystal Caverns, and luckily for this one, you don't have to fight 10 monsters to get there. Let's get there first. Okay, so here we are, and some of you may be wondering, there's nothing here. Where's the secret area? Well, there used to be a snow pile here, and if you got rid of it, you could see that this is actually another small path that you can walk on, and it leads to the Billyfoot Dog, or whatever it's called. Number 2 and 1 are deleted areas, so they're inaccessible in current Prodigy. Number 2 is the Lost Island. In the Lost Island, basically you have daily quests to defeat 6 of one specific monster, and that specific monster changes every day. The reward you get is wood, and I'm pretty sure it's like 12 pieces of wood. And what do you do with the wood? Nothing. It's just there as currency for something or nothing. And finally, number 1 is Clockwork Town. Right now, I'm here in Clockwork Town in Old Prodigy. Clockwork Town was the home of all the pets you would encounter in the Skywatch factory. You can buy some pretty cool equipment from the merchant, the robot mask, the robot outfit, and I'm pretty sure now you can get the wrench from one of the chests in Skywatch. The other two you can get from Conjure Cubes. Um, this is where you would play the dancing game, but I'm not going to actually play it because that would break Old Prodigy. Um, and now let's talk to Boombox. Are you ready? Alright, so first you would say some stuff before this, saying that you would have to battle a team of robots, and if you win, you'll get a prize. But 
This is what the old quest used to look like in the old areas. So this was quite annoying because the battles were just really random and some quests would take forever. Well, anyway. First, Boombox would take you through some training where you would defeat two of one of the robots. And then he would give you a battle against a team of three robots, then against a team of four, and finally against a team of five. And back then, those battles were actually really tough. But if you won all the battles, you would win a prize. I remember there being a Tinkerer hat or a Tinkerer outfit, both of which could be found in Skywatch chests. And I'm pretty sure you could also get a Gizmatron, which now you can get in Summerfest. And you can also get a prize ribbon, which will let you get the W12 for RD name, as you can see here. You need to win the ribbon from the Robo Olympics to unlock. So, yeah, and the prizes are random and they change every day. But, yeah, that's Clockwork Town. It's probably one of my favorite areas, and yeah, it's a really cool secret area. That's all for today's video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.